Wolf activists in New Mexico fear Congress could set a dangerous precedent if they decide to delist wolves from the endangered species list. Gina Sorio, known as the Wolf Lady in some circles, wants to see a sustainable Mexican gray wolf population along the Arizona-New Mexico border. She is worried about two pending bills in Congress that would strip protection for wolves nationwide. The whole beauty of the Endangered Species Act is the fact that it takes these decisions out of the hands of politicians who are very much subject to pressure by narrow special interests and informs the decisions by science, basing them on scientific considerations. Last week, Interior Secretary Ken Salazar met with governors from Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho to discuss delisting gray wolves. In the Northern Rockies, about 1,700 wolves roam the region. However, here in the Southwest, only 42 Mexican gray wolves were in the area at last count. Well, species are supposed to be delisted only when they're recovered. A population of 42 animals is not a recovered population, and no reputable scientist would say that it is. Even so, the Mexican gray wolves could get swept into the delisting debate. Michael Robinson with the Centers for Biological Diversity says if they were stripped of protection altogether, there is no doubt the Mexican gray wolf would go extinct. And the minute that species is delisted, those 42 Mexican wolves are going to be at the mercy of the local politicians in New Mexico and Arizona who may or may not have their best interests at heart. They may rather have the best interests of certain powerful special interests rather than the wolves themselves or the ecosystem or the general public. The Arizona Game and Fish supports congressional action aimed at removing all gray wolves, even Mexican gray wolves, from the federal endangered species list. Something Osorio doesn't understand. With a very minimum of 35 Mexican wolves being killed illegally and only 42 left in the wild, we contacted the Arizona Game and Fish Department, but they did not return our calls. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.